This is Bobby Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live here at the See Through Equity 4th Annual Investor Conference 2015 in New York City. With me to my left is Harold Montgomery from Calpian Inc. Calpian Money on Mobile. The symbol is CLPI. Harold, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks, Bobby. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate the chance to talk about Calpian and our really exciting payment subsidiary in India called Money on Mobile. So, you know, like I said, it's been a, it's been a few years since we've last done an right. interview. Things have changed, but let's first start with the overview of Money on Mobile. Sure. Money on Mobile is India's largest prepaid mobile phone payment system. You, you have to remember that in India, very few people actually have a bank account. They're paying for everything in cash. So they have to go to all the different places to pay their bills or buy things. What Money on Mobile does is give them the chance to make a single deposit as if we were a bank and then use their cell phone to transact. And believe it or not, there's over a billion cell phones in India today. So the platform for a payment system is right there. And we have 260,000 retail locations where people can deposit cash and then communicate with us via SMS text to pay different bills or send money person to person. Right now, we're growing the system about 20% a month. So let's talk about the technology for the phone right. itself. Do you need a smartphone to be able to use your payment processing system, or can you use any sort of... Uh... Any phone will work. It doesn't matter what the brand is. It doesn't matter if it's smartphone or feature phone. Predominantly in India, what you find is simple feature phones that are very inexpensive. They become very popular in India. Smartphones are definitely coming. We have our app for the service in 10 different languages in India. So that's a growing segment for us that's really good news for our system. But predominantly today, it's operated via feature phone. So what, why India? What, what, what prompted you to get into that space? India is the largest market for mobile money and it just opened up about three years ago. So this really represents a greenfield opportunity and we've quickly advanced to be the leader in the space. But after China, India is the largest market for mobile money anywhere in the world and it's an incredibly exciting opportunity. So how does it work? Do you, do you go to like a kiosk and then you pay and then you prepay yeah, you and then you go to a bodega store, as we would call it in the U.S., a small convenience store that sells consumer items, soap or food, and you make a payment, much as you would buy a money order at 7-Eleven here in the States. You go to your local neighborhood store, you walk there typically, you make a payment, you have a balance open now, as if we were a bank, and then you transact with your phone. It's very simple, it's very uh, easy to get into, the threshold for adoption is very low, and that's one of the reasons we're growing so fast, is it's really simple for people to operate. Are you looking to expand outside of India, or are you keeping it to more the Southeast Asian market? Is that it's, it's a great question, but India is such a big market with over a billion people, two-thirds of whom do not have a bank account. So the addressable market is over 800 million people. I think we are going to focus on India, and we're committed to being the leader in India and really owning that space. Because if you think about what happened in payments here in the U.S. with PayPal, for example, they're really the leader, the undisputed leader in their class of payments. We'd like to be the PayPal of India in that respect and really own the space. So you're also creating then desktop solutions as well. Yes, it is accessible on the internet, but keep in mind that only 18% of the Indian population is internet enabled. So that's really not the major market, but we do have it on the internet. We do have it on a smartphone app. There are 50 million smartphones out of 1 billion in India. So you know, there's plenty of market there, but we are really catering to the low-tech, average, everyday Indian consumer. So how do you market the product to people in India? Do you have commercials? Do you do like billboards? We do have a, a small advertising program, but actually, remarkably, all of our growth has really come organically through our, our relationship with our customers, through our stores. Our stores are really the gateway to the system. So the, the key here is the neighborhood location so that people can easily come into the system, make their payment, and transact. So they don't have to buy a bus ticket, they don't have to go anywhere, and they can accomplish utility bill payment, prepaid mobile time purchase, postpaid mobile time purchase, they can pay their television cable subscription, they can send money to another person, things like that. All of that can be done right there in your neighborhood. So 
what's next? Uh, have you already gone to the cell phone companies? Because I'm sure you want to get the app already on the phones right. itself, as opposed to them having to then download it and then start using it. We, we do have an app out there in 10 languages that people can download. A good next step for us would be to integrate with the phone makers, and that's a terrific idea. The other thing that's coming down the pipe in India is the growing e-commerce uh, segment there in the country that is really exploding now. But even to date is only reaching that 18% internet population. What's missing here is a payment mechanism that connects the average Indian with e-commerce opportunities because if you don't have a bank account or a credit card, you can't buy anything off Amazon.com in India or the biggest one is Flipkart. So we're structuring ourselves to be a player in the e-commerce space. So what's your background? How did you get into this? Well, I went to Stanford Business School many years ago, and I've been working in the payment space for the last 25 years. So when I saw the opportunity unfolding in India, I really understood what it was about. What you find in these developing countries, and Kenya is a great example, Somalia is a great example, is that where there's no banking services at all, people adopt mobile money very, very quickly because they're really going from all cash all the time. You can lose cash, cash can be destroyed, cash is dirty, it's hard to store it to an electronic environment that we know here in the United States where your money's in a system where it's digitized and you can transact, it's much safer, it's cheaper, it's cleaner, you don't lose it, you don't get robbed. The advantages are overwhelming and so what we're seeing in India is just this groundswell of demand that's growing our company so fast. It's really exciting. So where can we go and find more information about well, that's a great question. There's plenty on our website at calpian, C-A-L-P-I-A-N.com. Our ticker symbol is C-L-P-I. There's also the Money on Mobile website, which is money-on-mobile.com. And there's plenty out there uh, for people who are interested in, in the developing world and interested in mobile payment systems. The GSMA has a lot of background industry data. They just rated us as the third largest mobile money system in the world. Thank you for all that information. Bobby, Again, so that's that's calpian.com and money-on-mobile.com. My name is Bobby Kraft, and I'm here live on SNN Live at the See Through Equity Fourth Annual Investor Conference 2015 in New York City. With me again has been Harold Montgomery from Calpian Inc. Money on Mobile, symbol is C-L-P-I. Harold, thank you again for coming on Thanks, to SNN. Thanks, Bobby. Appreciate the chance.